as federal government continue to initiate strategies against insurgency and other insecurity challenges in the country. An Islamic cleric and former military officer, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, has advocated the need for dialogue with bandits and other criminal elements. Gumi, who made this known at the first interactive policy dialogue organized by Miati Allah, Cattle Hall Fulani Social Cultural Association in Abuja, explained that banditry is a social problem that cannot be effectively addressed through military option. He traced the origin of banditry and like-minded creations to perceived neglect of the youth population by successive administrations. I think there's a neglect because I had a former president who I spoke with, he told me that he has been to some uh, area whereby he spoke with Boko Haram people and they are ready to put down their arms on conditions. But the government of that day refused to accept such conditions. Up to now, Boko Haram is not a hopeless case. So we have to protect our hatsmen from the infiltration of terrorists. As expected, the policy dialogue attracted important dignitaries, including the governor of KB State, Atiku Bagudu, who on their remarks highlighted various options they would address banditry and other forms of social unrest in the country. We are dealing with all these challenges and trying to correct this underinvestment in a period where resources, the competition for resources by other sectors remains very perocious or even by other groups. So do this quick enough, but mindful. And the cleric and the traditional rulers are the way to get to the heart of this, this kid. Not soldiers. Not soldiers. We must sit down and realize where we have gone wrong, and we all have. We are doctors, we left whatever we're doing, we invested the last two, three years of our lives in this struggle, because it's catching up with us. We have relatives, we have folks in the forest too. Earlier, the chairman of the organizing committee, Ladan Salihu, in his welcome address, shared statistics of Fulani pastoralists displayed between 2020 to date. What Allah Kauta Nawari has done is to aggregate professionals, leaders, and all those who are stakeholders in the entire peace building and peace mending process. Not only in Nigeria, but across the West African sub-region and in de indeed from Europe and Asia. The two-day conference, which attracted participants from across Africa and other stakeholders in the sector, is aimed at protecting the future of Fulani pastoralists in Nigeria. Ugochi Obaja. CNN News.